This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. rant about yeah. Hillary could you were ranting about how she had to give you eight dollars every day you just wanted the final number yes I want to know how much money do you need Hillary like eight dollars like it's like tell me how much you need go away it's like a college and like she is the worst and she's like are you with me are you still with me and she's so paranoid and like it like her mind shifts like one day she's thanking us like we are the best and then the next day she's letting us know how much money Bernie is raising and you can tell that it's driving her crazy and like Bill will send emails being like hello friend and then Chelsea Kelsey sends emails and she really has the worst personality I think of the family. Like I don't understand what like Chelsea's deal is and like all of the surgery. But like anyway, Michelle has sent us emails too, like on behalf of that they need to fire Puma. Like I don't care what her husband is sexting. Like, we need to like fire everyone. Oh, her husband's the Anthony Weiner guy that showed his Weiner. Oh, yeah, really? that's like Hillary's right hand woman. Of, so I think of that like. Of course she is. See, I haven't <laughs> followed politics this um, election. I and Michelle is so calculated that you know she's, like, hoping that Huma will get fired. Because Hillary's campaigns always go south. And then she'll have to, like, fire one of her longtime friends. And then I think that's what Michelle... Michelle is now listed as an Olympic champion on the video. And, like, she was explaining debt. And, like, I don't... Michelle, like, with the commentary, me, it's not her strength. Not as good as her spiral. You know, I'm just saying. But she's a policy expert on student loan debt. Because Michelle Kwan had Sally May call her. Yeah. Yes, that is what I think. But anyway. Okay, let's like discuss skating. Do you want to talk Michelle, about I will never forgive you for getting me on the Hillary mailing just list. Just unsubscribe, like, Dave Lee. I did after the first email. Just cut the cord. <laughs> but at this point, she has it in. Michelle like, will be mad at me. I know. I feel like if I unsubscribe from the Hillary list, she's going to like come to my house and ask for $8. Like, I just don't think that she will go away. Like, oh, my God. Oh. Okay, let's talk about Four Continents because... I would like eight dollars. I just want to say, and why eight? Like, what is the like, what? Is, why not seven? She was telling us when we were interviewing her. There's like some happy number. Like, do you remember that? She said like three dollars yeah. was like the happy number because it's less it's than a Starbucks grande drink or something. Ever since it got to a certain date, like it's just really taken over with well, the eight dollars. Yeah, the eight dollars. Okay, let's talk about four continents because Patrick Chan coming <laughs> back after another tough short program. Because when did Michelle Kwan become a Democrat? Wasn't she with that Republican? Like she never answered that. By the way, I wanted. I just want to know the timeline. Like yes. Anyway, <laughs> very Hillary. I'm just saying. So thoughts on Patrick Chan here because this was really the long program of, in many ways, his life. And coming back, everything looks so strong, so sharp. And compare that to the short program where what did he say in the press mix zone? He was saying something where he was like, "I can't." He was so nervous. He, he didn't know if he was going to be able to hold an edge. It was really strange. Which is so, so at a certain talk. yeah. At a certain point, you have to be like, "You are a three-time world champion. You got to deal with your nerves because he can do it." And he did it in the long. He did it in the short at Canadians. I mean, what is it going to take to put two great performances together for him? I don't know, but I know that you have a lot of thoughts about the coach. So I, I don't know what's going on with Patrick in the short program. Like, I just, I kind of like, well, it's it's a thing. You know, we, I I don't know. Get it to a sports psychologist. I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on with Patrick in the short program. He's so brilliant. I don't know what is going on. We saw it at Canadians that he can do it. It's three elements. It's three jumps. And for Patrick, when he used to be really inconsistent, like, he would always at least do a pretty good short. I'm... I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. I, it's Patrick, but he like wins the long and comes back. I don't know. What well, do you he, think? I would say maybe a new a GoFundMe of the short program costume. Like he okay. did something, maybe Thanks. a new costume, like change the juju. And the funny thing is after the long program, he was like, oh, it was so easy. He told his coach and they kiss and cry. Well, how is that so easy? Like, and he made it look so easy. It was effortless, gorgeous. Why is the short so hard? Has he had the same long program for a couple years? It's like the same theme. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, but like I don't really know. pretty. But he, I yeah. mean, he's really pretty. Well, okay, so, I would do it too. So if he it's, does this long program and a good short at Worlds, could he win? I mean, do you see him ever beating Hanyu? It depends how Hanyu does, because I think Hanyu has more base value with the points. Obviously, doing three quads as opposed to two, he's doing the second triple axel. I 
look, I'm not saying who I think is better. I don't want to get shot. Um, but I, I uh, really, I don't know. He's wonderful. And it's good. I think it's going to depend on the day and what happens out there. They're both incredible. Uh, he needs to do a good short, though. I mean, and if he does a good short, will he do a good long? I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah, Because is... at Canadians, the long wasn't so great. So, it's like yeah, the crazy it's, question. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. It's just that. in a minute. <laughs> but Mo, can, let's talk about no, no, Jenny. Let's talk about the coach. You had a lot of thoughts about this. I so Jenny, to... <laughs> let's talk about Kathy Johnson. She has really become a gift to us this season. Like, like she. I hope that she becomes as famous as Robin Wagner. That people start going to her. Like, there are some people that like are just meant for skating stardom, like fluff pieces, everything. And Kathy Johnson is one of them. So, <laughs> she didn't know that he won. Like when he got off the. I, I was really confused. Like you were confused about this too. Like, like the delayed reaction and the kiss and cry. It was like twenty seconds. But she didn't understand that he won. <laughs> what is she doing? What is she doing for him? Like, what is what is her role? I would like to see them train together to see, like, how much she actually communicates Go find me. Send us to Michigan. We need to watch this. Yeah. I want to meet her. I just, yeah. I think she, she seems like a really nice lady. I just don't understand the dynamic Obviously, between the two of them. Obviously, she's a movement coach. Obviously, very yeah. good. I, Gorgeous. Very good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But a great competition here in China for Boyang Jin. Um, okay, I need to discuss one thing about his own program, though. Okay, what so thing? wait, what was the theme of this? So week? you had a lot of thoughts that went beyond. <laughs> but the one that really stood out to me, I don't like this. John Baldwin. <laughs> the lasso. The so he's skating to, like, slay the dragon or something? Or what was it? Uh, maybe, slay, how to tame a dragon. How to tame, is this, like, with a rope? I don't understand it, it Justin he's Dillon. Please defend your choreography. Please defend it. The quads are phenomenal. He does that second quad toe, and it looks like he's doing a triple toe. It's so easy. But he needs to work on the spins. I mean, he just needs – I know he's going to Frank there. after Worlds. He needs to work on the stretch. The, I think he could medal at Worlds, though, just with the jumps and the technical score so high. It's so impressive watching him. I can't. I mean, I can't. I love to watch him, but he doesn't – Deserves, what would you really give him for components? Like, oh, for choreography. that is one thing Let's... I need to discuss. So he received a nine for choreography. I didn't see I... a lot of choreography. I mean, I like, he does 4.75? Two... I don't understand. I mean, maybe the choreography, but he had, he got an eight in skating skills, like 8.04. That's the one mark where I think his skating skills are probably I like a six. I like Sam the Eagle, but there is nothing sacred anymore. When no, you go even up. like high sevens he received for transitions. And you don't, you can't really do a lot of transition. We talked about it earlier, or in a other recap, <laughs> earlier recap. You can't do transitions when you're doing all these quads. It's just physically at this point impossible, which is understandable, but the judges need to then take that into consideration. I can't compare his transition to somebody like, even a Max Aaron who got like low sevens in transitions. I think Max's are higher. Yes, that is not real, that's choreography. That's not a transition, but I see more transitions. I need to discuss a part of Max's program in a minute. We're all good now. So, okay, after he does two things. The first spin, the flying combination spin at the beginning. Um positive two GOEs he got he almost fell in the sit spin I don't and that's not his fault it's just the judging was kind of suspect yeah. then after he does the two spins in his long program the music changes and it's kind of still a little bit upbeat he's kind of getting ready for the second quad so they need to have him skate there he's just standing on two feet for a while and his quads he's so far forward again and this was the problem in the past he needs to get his back up and really this season his quad hasn't been consistent even in practices and stuff, like he can put it together under pressure, like we saw at Nationals, we saw at Skate America, but he still needs to get up. And he has the opposite problem on his triple axle where he's often leaning too far back. Um, are we going to get three spots at Worlds for the U.S. men? No. Just I no. think it's physically impossible. Virtually impossible. There's no, no, there is no way. Come on. There, the, it's not that our men are bad. It's just there are so many good men and Bo Yang Jin get, got a nine for choreography. There's no way the U.S. better. I don't get... understand that. I'm sorry. It's more the if he gets a nine show. for chore... <laughs> if he gets a nine for choreography, there. I mean, there's no way. I mean, how many quads could Adam put in his program to get that kind of? I mean, no, you, yeah. it's just a, the if, if we're not the, the math doesn't work out. You know, I mean, and what if what if Bo Yang Jin like 
does a real jump or something. I, I don't know. It's, it's scary to me. Well, and we have people like Han Yang, we have Mira, who are skating yeah. well. I mean, those are skaters who, when they put it together, they're going to... I mean, it does a real program. So, yeah. yeah. They're going to play a six. Sorry. I mean, it's, it's just... It's going to be really difficult uh, for the U.S. men, and I don't think it matters who we send. I think we're going to have two yeah. spots next year, and that's fine. I mean, that's that's okay. life. You yeah. know, like, it's, yeah. It's okay. But let's talk about Han Young, because... I can't deal with the music anymore. The kissing, the Romeo and Juliet. Why? Okay, so why is kissing you making a comeback and everyone is using it? And it's all different choreographers that have decided to use this music. I'm, I don't know. Like, uh, and so, I, you, you said something, and this is what I was thinking when I watched it too. It looks like he just decided to step on the ice to do his long program after making a run to Starbucks. Like what is love the shirt? I want to buy it at Uniqlo, and it's like but a little. But it's not a shirt to go to competition with. And we talked about it at Skate America. It's just so laid been... back, like in the practices, he just kind of like skates around, his quad pops up. Great something. quads here. I mean, he skated he's just, well. Like, I don't think he knows he's competing sometimes. Like he doesn't look like he's really amped up. I'm always confused by this. Beautiful jumps when he hits something. He's going to Frank as well with the Chinese team and going to Lori. And look. If Frank puts in the good work, the U.S. men may never get three spots again. If the Chinese, like, if they move to L.A., we're done. I mean, come on. What if they, like, start doing, like, the Frank Carroll training methods with the programs every day? If this yeah, one if can really... If he starts to do his programs, because he was not doing run-throughs yeah. at Skate America, he's so just talented, and he's been so inconsistent in the past. It's he so can beautiful. put it together. Yeah. It's yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And we saw some good moments from Yura, too. I really liked his short program. I just think we could go find me a new costume. It looks like somebody vomited all over him, maybe a little vanilla milkshake. So this is a new costume. He was, oh. he was had other things. I thought this skater. was the same one. No, the other one had feathers. And stuff. I don't know. I zoned out during both programs because it's like it does nothing for me. But I He's zoned out when I. And it's not just He's because good, you know, though. I, Dave, he was good. He did he did two very good quads in his long. I mean, good. Had, I saw some good yeah. moments, but I don't know. I, yeah, I couldn't remember his program. Like I couldn't remember some of my thirtieth birthday celebration. You know, like I just uh, people tell you things that you said. I'm like, oh, did that happen? Not sure. Anyway, yeah, his program it, it's thrown out a bit. I want some more intention, some more face, some more arm, Patrick, some more. Yeah, like a little bit. And I feel like he had it last year. I liked his long program last year, the Phantom. Like, I thought it was actually one of the good Phantoms. Um, the Kissing You is really this year's Phantom. But uh, I just, I couldn't really get, yeah. There were nice moments, but not a lot. That Cirque So Lay music is so B.B. Liang in the 2003 Junior Worlds. I'm, I'm not sure why we're doing this. Or 2002 Junior World. I don't know. It's, it's dated for me, so. Well, before, I don't we, before we discuss the women, um, Grant... Not so good here. Struggled, technically. Got in the last group. Uh, struggled technically. Obviously, this is experience. I think Grant's going to pull it together at Worlds. I, I think it was just a, it's a been a lot of excitement. Yeah. yeah. I think it's... I really... You know what? He needed to go to Four Continents. There are other skaters like Max. I'm like, I don't know. Next year, I think if you, if you don't want to go to Four Continents and you think you might be tired, don't go. You well, know I what? Also don't. Think it's different when it's in Canada or the U.S. Like, okay, that's. But when you're going to Asia, it's just it's a lot. It's a lot as a it's skater. A lot because nationals is so stressful. It's not just like going from a Grand Prix no. to the final in two weeks. The stress of nationals takes these people down, and then they can't get up, and there's not enough time. And they had longer this year, but it's. It was almost it's like sometimes when it's longer, it's worse because you do come down a little bit, and then you have to come up again, and it's like you can't just go with the momentum of nationals. I don't know. But one interesting thing to note, all top four men wore John Wilson or MK Blades. Very Just saying. Impressive. Just saying. And the two Americans that we spoke about, they wore their blades as well. But let's talk about Satoka Miyahara because she wears Pattern 99's Revolution. Like, that's a, so is, I, that, is that a spin on the Pattern 99? Like, I don't think they had that when I was competing. The Revolution. Well, she is so consistent, it is a revolution. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if I will wear whatever she's wearing, no, if right. I can skate she's that so consistently, good. something is right. So and she's like, yeah, and she's so nonplussed. She is so reliable, like a Honda. Like, you just know she is, like, she's going to nail every time. Every time. The jumps are pre rotated. But, and some I thought of them, the flip but... in the short program was better. One thing I do want to say, and I love the first stop in her short program where she kind of gives us sexy, it turns it on. 
she has two complete stops in a short program. I think maybe they can take out the second one because she doesn't seem to, it's not like she's tired ever. I don't think, I know it's just for the choreography, but I would take out the second stop. I mean, it could I think she- it's physically impossible for her not to meddle at Worlds unless everyone skates cleanly, yeah. which I don't expect to have. I mean, come on, there's, do you, how many times do you think she does that program a day? Is she doing three longs like Tara oh, did? Oh, I'm sure. But like, and she's so nonplussed and just so, like, her coach is like losing her mind every time. She's like, and like, Satoko's just like, yes, I have done this program very well. <laughs> but like, I don't know, she's always so like, she's so nice and she just looks like she'd be the best student and like the best wife, like, like Tim yeah, Gables. Tim Gable's partner, like, he just, like, made me breakfast this morning and got me coffee and, like, everything. Like, I don't know. Nah, I mean, you know, I mean yeah, yeah, like, oh, my God. Like, Shotoko needs to just, like, uh, she is so good. If I was a student, like, Frank Carroll would love to have her oh, right now. Gotcha. He would be so happy, you know? He would, he would be happy about going all the way to Asia if he knew that she was going to skate like that. I mean, it's just... It's incredible how consistent she has been this season. She has to be very confident. So it's, I love it. I love the footwork sequence. I love how like perfect she is at all times. It's just. It's it incredibly me. precise and things like the layback are fantastic as well. But let's talk about Mariah because this was really her moment. Um, if ever there were a time to have a moment, it was also this time way to end her season and hopefully she'll be able to carry that momentum to the start of next year. Some comments, though, on our Facebook saying, should they send her to Worlds? I may have that. that. Oh, okay. I would, I would send her. I would send her to Worlds because she's peaking. So who are she's the other two peaking. women you'd send? I don't know. I th after I'm so mad at the ladies that I want to go Marta Caroli on them and make them train together. And this is what I want to do is we need to have like a verification of the short and long on alternate days. And we'll be like Caroli style where we'll start like shifting the lineup order based on how they did the day before. And if like you can stay in the, if you go, you go last, if you place first. And if we put, if you're, la if, if you're last like three days in a row, you get a spot. And then it cycles. It's like down to three. And then I think we're going to like send the second one because these women, they need like mental training and something to get it together. And they all need to like be at each other. I'm mad at all of them. I'm mad at Ashley about that single Lutz at the end of the program and her short programs this year. Um, I think Paulina really did decide last minute based on how Karen Chen skated. Benefit of the doubt. I'm saying that she wasn't even like she was at the beach and Paulina's like, oh, by the way, I didn't break in my boots. You're going, honey. That is what that program looked like. So in my mind, I'm blaming Paulina for that. And then Gracie. So, yes, we are, I think, we're going to go on the women. We're sending Mariah. I'm just telling you, she is the spot for me. How about for you? So what I would do is, because I understand what you're saying, do the three. I think Paulina's fine. I think she should go just based on consistency. I think she. Oh, you would pull with the stars? You, yeah, you'd yeah. So what I would do is I would have kind of an American test skate. Because I know what you're saying is have them train together, do best of whatever. No. Yeah. Because they need pressure, they need one time yeah. and done. So I would fly okay. both of them, just Gracie, just Ashley, to the World Arena. I would fill the stands. I would bus <laughs> in high school students. I would fill up that entire arena. They don't even do that for nationals. And why don't they, by the yeah, way? Yeah, they really, they did when I was a novice. I remember they yeah. bust in children. Huh. Publicize it, stream it on Ice Network. You have one chance to do your short program, one chance to do your long program, whoever wins goes. Because at this point, they need to have the pressure and it needs to be one of them. And I can't see us. I mean, obviously Gracie is national champion, so they have to send her, but they don't have to send her at this. I mean, they do, but in my little, in my reality, they don't have to send her. It's whoever you can do it at that time. Are I, you as mad as Frank Carroll? I need to discuss. Okay, so this is what makes me nervous about Gracie. Not just the, I just wanted to rotate. Like, I'm surprised I rotated. Honey, like, don't, if you're just going to rotate, don't go to the event. I think that these skaters are so tired at Four Continents that they don't realize what's coming out of their mouth. Like they Patrick don't, and Gracie. Though. But here's the thing. If this were a one-time thing, Gracie is kind of like that guy who has so much potential. And you keep giving him a second chance. And you're like, oh, but you could be so good. You could be like so good. Like being a Sasha Cohen fan? Or yes. Being a Johnny fan. But after, uh, after a while, you're just like, you know what? I can't get emotionally, like you talked about last week, like I can't get emotionally invested. Like we can't do this anymore because you're just going to continue to let me down. So what she did, and I talked about it in the text message, Gracie jumps with her arms when she gets tight under pressure. Because she has no 
knee bend. Because yeah, her knees get, yeah, she, you know. her knees get tight. So watch her left arm on both her triple flip and her triple left and her short program and in her long program too. She jumps with that left arm. The left arm should be closing a door. It should go from right in front of your belly button or your chest into your belly button, like, or to your right shoulder, immediately in upon takeoff. It's just like, and this is how Frank teaches it. I'm sure he told him her this, like, just like you're pulling a rope or closing a door. She jumps with her arm, and so she's completely off her axis and lands backward. And these are just things where you get nervous under pressure. She's trained, but it didn't seem like she was in that same shape that she was in nationals, which is understandable. You shouldn't go out and compete when you're not 100% ready. And there are times she didn't want to go. She should not. No, have. there was Especially no reason for nationals her. Nationals was such a roller coaster for her. You have to think the short was a bomb. Yeah. It's nationals, and the long was so good. I mean, if anyone should not have gone here, I think just, she can put it together for worlds. I think she has that in her because I think she just. Does she have enough time because she's going to be tired after this. She'll too. be like, okay. I think yeah. she's somebody who actually does her programs, and yeah. the way that she was talking about worlds at nationals is very much like. Either I medal or I'm not even going to, like, why even try? And I feel like if she goes in with that mentality, she's going to be so mad at herself. But I know in the past... You think it was good? Because it's a roller coaster. So is yeah. it good? I was like, is it better if she does a good long or kind of, like, bombs the long, too? Well, he, Maybe she'll be so mad that Worlds will be good because it's the roller coaster. So we have to go down to come up. But, well, in her talking after the long, she basically said, well, you know, it was okay. It wasn't a disaster. I think often Gracie gets beatalized, and when she does that... Oh. Yeah, she does it. It was worse than Beatle Eyes, well, Jenny, she, and everyone talked about it. Well, she, the way when she gets like that, she's skating not to bomb. It's not even that she's skating not to mess up. She's skating not to bomb. So She didn't go for any of the triple triples. She didn't go for the double axle. No, triple -triple. and you can't She was that. Gina Gauguin out there. Yeah, she, she was, was just completely... And it's at a point in her career where you can't be like that anymore. Like, I think she'll put it together for Worlds, but I worry that even if she does two phenomenal performances... She's not going to place perhaps as high as she could have. Because the judges don't have to give her the components now. And yeah. they don't have a reason to trust her, unfortunately. Yeah. But I still think that if she's good enough... And the thing with her is that we saw footage in practice where you, she was doing the job. She can do it. Yeah. But it's clear that it was... Uh, I mean... Gets, and I was saying this too in the text message. When she goes out to warm up, they should just have her do a lot of like deep knee edges for at least three of the five minutes or six minutes or whatever. And then just do like one of each jump and just go and do a triple or a couple to warm up her just rotation because she needs to get into the ice. She's just never bends her knees when she goes out to compete. And they need to add a transition before the triple lets in the long program. So she does like three forward crossovers, a stroke, stroke. And then other four, a stroke stroke is not breaking up, in my opinion. But if she adds a move, is she going to go into the boards again? No, you know? I think <laughs> instead of a stroke, though, I was thinking they can do a right forward inside three. Just a okay. right forward inside three, legs together, a breath. And I'm choreographing your program, Gracie. A breath and then start the crossovers again. Because I think the stroke stroke actually gives her too much speed. And it's very manic. Inside three, like if they choreograph a breath to it. Mary used to do this. She was actually really good at this. And a breath up then you can like break apart and just start focusing on the triple left when you start the crossovers again. Okay. I just, I want, I think what she needs more than anything is just some yoga. Take away the soul cycle and yeah. go, go to yoga class and just do a lot of like centering exercises. I, yeah, I agree. I mean, but I do think that she will, um, you're, I know, it's, very, it's so hard. I can't, well, it's and like, I think, too, like, I care about these. So this is what it was like for us to watch Sasha all those times in the long program. I know you were competing and probably happy about it, but the rest of us were, you know, it was, it was hard. It you was know, this is, Let's yeah. talk about, though, a more, um, I would say, level skater, Rika Hongo. Winning the bronze kind of by default here wasn't the third best in I can't be mad at her for meddling. No, and she skated well. She skated. I think she feels the Riverdance program. They just need to really take her to eccentrics and work on her posture when she skates. Um, but the short was good. She's a good, solid skater. They need something that's going to take her over the top. Yes, I. I don't know what's happened, but did we skip over Mariah? The one thing I wanted to say oh. about Mariah. Oh yeah, I have program. some thoughts here too. Yes. Mariah, I really think, okay, she, we've got her back into form. Next year, she needs a real program. And I know that she was working on the program, but we really need to push the transitions. And Tom needs to become a transition and skating. Like, he needs to be as focused on that as he is on the jumps if he ever wants his skaters to really do well. And she need, the program just doesn't have enough meat in it yet, yet. at this point. 
especially the long, but I like that she's effervescent and bouncy and she's like a million times better than we've seen in years. And I really give her a lot of credit because she's really come back from a horrific experience of getting, I mean, come on, finishing in the top three and not getting sent to the Olympics. She could have been bitter for the rest of her life and she really has made something and come back. And I think that that's really says a lot about her. I think that we need like a real program. Send her to David Wilson to someone like really and force her to keep in all of the choreography because she could be the best U.S. lady. I think at this point, this we're looking for someone. Maybe it's Mariah. You know, I like think we it need... really can be that. I mean, that door yeah. is open for a woman to really come in. She's proved that she's consistent. She's finally getting the marks on the jumps. She got positive GOE on both the flip toe and, and the axle to toe. They, they, they did for the flip toe. They didn't. They didn't look good to me. <laughs> <laughs> the one time she gets the benefit of the doubt. It's fine. It's, hey, fine, it's fine. Just yeah. go with it, honey. Um, I also think, and I was saying this, the, I mean, it doesn't matter now because the program's done, but it's very much like I noticed at the end, she does two jumps in the exact same spot. So it's kind of like skate, jump, skate, jump. Just the program, the way that it's constructed could be a little bit more all around the ice or even doing a jump like at a diet. It doesn't matter now. The program's done. Um, she could have used I think Tom could use like a woman to come in or Drew could kind of like get into it a little bit more with the style she needed some lipstick like a bright red lipstick maybe the hair and a bunch just little things I was talking she should have a Salome not Salome but like a Michelle Kwan 96 moment when she comes out to the Grand Prix next year and have just a complete like change because she still skates a little little girl a little bit like a little girl and she, if she came out as more of a mature woman, I think that would be great. The consistency, and she's so just mentally She needs to better. do that sexy exhibition that she has and yes. make it her short program next year. Yes, she needs a moment like that. I felt these programs are definitely a step in Mariah finding who she is as a skater, and now they gotta go with it, and they gotta make her emote. I mean, there is no reason with that footwork at the end of this program for her not to have been like, <laughs> Ham it up because there's no jumps at that point, and that's what they really. Did need to you pull see out of. Andrew Poche ham it up? It was shocking. I need to talk about that because he, the, that's not a smile program, and it really upset me. Okay, is there any? <laughs> let me just give a shout out to Park, um, placing the pewter here. Nice double axle, triple toe, and I like gorgeous that. technique and the arm, Jenny. When you you know she you, pulled it in well, she pulled it in it very well, textbook. and I like your long program dress. Okay, yeah, we can go on a pair. The Karen Chen program, Jenny was. Oh. I really think Paulina did not tell her until last minute. That is, yeah. I'm going, and like she's had boot problems all oh, season. Like she, yeah. they still can't get boot. I don't know like what is happening. This is, I don't know, I don't know, custom. I don't know, we need to do something for her. But yes, she, it was. Mark Ladwig to the rescue, perhaps. Yeah, oh, we got maybe call Mark. She, she switched to Adea. After I know, she had then, Jackson and then she switched to Adea. And then she switched to her brother's skates, and I don't know, like this, yeah, her I don't know, this skates? is, I think so, someone was saying that, yeah, so, I don't know, she okay. looks, Hopefully she'll yeah. Maybe try right out. Yeah. SB Terry, I never had problems with SB Terry, giving them a shout out. Um, okay, let's talk about the pairs, because Sway and Han doing the throw quad sal in the long program here, she missed the triple sal. Gorgeous. Gorgeous program, I and mean, the short program was my everything. Um, so their side by side jumps are a little Jenny and Todd. Yeah. Like when you go into them, I'm getting like I get really nervous. <laughs> you know, like you're hoping for that one time where they magically, you know, Todd doesn't go down on the triple toe, uh, or you know, he actually goes for it, or they don't do the double axle. But yeah, like this, if they are clean at Worlds, could they win? I I don't. I think I, I feel like the Russians are going to get Olympic champion marks. Yes, that's a problem. Here's the thing, though. I think they were really smart to come to four continents and to try out. Kill. Yeah, and to do the, try the throw quad. Their split quad twist was only a level one. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, work on that compared to Alexa and Chris. They got like two points more on that element because it was a level four and then positive GOE. And Alexa is so much more dynamic. Well, that's the thing. Just... And it is. Like, they should get the higher GOE. But looking at all of their elements, I think they can. if the judges want to give them the second mark, they could win. I think yeah. I think if you have all th four, you know, putting Jillian and Bob in the mix, all four skaters. And Sachenko. And Sachenko. I think they're the best. If you have them all clean, there's something about, in the way that she is holding herself and like her legs, she has like the nice perfect spiral now. I love their short program. 
I, they're definitely a contender for me for a medal. If they, I think they're going to show up at Worlds and really skate okay. well. It could be their moment. Maybe next year will be their moment, but it's coming. It's coming that they are going to win, um, and they're phenomenal. So it's, it's really going to come down to whether or not they do those jumps because their technique on the throws are so good when they do them. I know that the flip wasn't the best here, but the South Cal was amazing, and I think that they're definitely one of the top teams. You have to really consider them a huge threat uh, for the world championships. Unfortunately, Jillian and Bob, she had the stomach flu. And I have to say, is that I honestly do believe that she was sick. Oh, I yeah, she did. Do. Everyone was saying, what, they didn't want to lose the Chinese she pulled out? No, I don't think I she's that don't, kind of I don't person. Believe, I think they have a lot of integrity. I don't believe that. No. Um, I think this girl would go out there and try those quads if oh, yeah. anything like this is here's a competitor so i think that she would have tried to make up that eight point difference they would have put in the quad lots and we would have you know yeah and i it. think so. she's somebody too she would want to gauge say they did come in second what they need to work on i mean i think she's somebody who actually does enjoy the feedback i mean it's yeah. the stomach flu i remember when i had the the chipotle food poison i mean it sucks like it's really well i could even really do tsl and she's going out to do a yeah. long program i mean and, and yeah. Peter Murray wanted us to know that he had the stomach flu, too. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. Let's talk about Alexa and Chris, because this was quite the comeback after Nationals. A great long program. They did change the music edit, like you requested or suggested. Um, it was good. It, it was good. It was good. They were phenomenal. And you know what? I think, you know, two-footed throw in the short, uh, one hand down, they have a little bit of improvement before Worlds. If they can do two clean programs at Worlds, they could place well. It's a tough field. It's going to be hard to be as high as they were last year, but they they skated well. They were within a couple points of Sweden hand. That was incredible in the free skate and well-deserved. She was all, I think they, they got, I mean, like, all level fours, too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was incredible. I think, you know, that was a tr fantastic effort. And wearing John Wilson gold seal blades, both of them. Mm -hmm. um, you and Jin, okay, the blues don't even match. <laughs> like, I didn't discuss this. I mean, really, go find me new costumes. She's struggling so much with the side-by-side -side jumps. And next season, I just think they need a memorable program. They took out the throw quad, which is good because some of her falls mm -hmm. earlier this season were really scary. And again, that lift, she needs to get the leg up a little bit higher for my enjoyment. Yeah. Just, oh, good. Okay. And good. Okay. Um, Tara and Danny, so she was sick too. They said afterward okay. that she was struggling with some sort of something. Um, miss, I like that she was angry when she missed the sow in the short. That was the best. Her eye roll when they got off the ice was bend there, honey. I can't mask it either. I was happy for you that you, I mean, but they are going to have to work on the death spiral level. The fact that they're getting a two for the death spiral in the short is really costing them a lot of points. And I think it's just death spiral, death spiral, death spiral, work on it, work on it. I'm sure that they are. Mr. Peterson seems very driven, but he seemed happy with them that they, I was, he was, conf he was like, you know, don't worry about the score. And I thought like, okay, this is, this is keep going. I'm like, were they not going to keep going? But anyway, uh, <laughs> I think they're going to Worlds. But anyway, yeah, he was very on it and very intense. But yeah, they seem, like, they did a good job here. You know what, she was sick. I think that they'll be, I think that our pairs are going to skate well at Worlds. Yeah, and I think we will fight for those three spots. I don't know if we'll achieve it. Yeah. Because you have like Morgan and, um... Wait, Morgan what? and Vanessa. And Vanessa. Morgan. I always put Morgan first because uh. I feel like that's a girl's name. I knew Morgan. No, like it's a boy's name too, but in my mind, I've known women that are named Morgan. Um, I mean, you just have some wild cards in the mix. Valentina, Andre, like how are they going to do? Um, but I think if our two teams skate well, we're definitely mm -hmm. in contention. Um, Luba needs to work on her jumps. Yeah, well, yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, Newsflash, yes. <laughs> the there. twist was better. They get a le got a level three. They worked on that. So that was good. That was good. Yes, I, good. But I, we need to talk about Marissa and Murfin. So I don't know if this is like my OCD, but when I watch them, it, she looks like someone that speeds up under pressure. And he looks like very stubborn to where like he's more laid back and like doesn't speed up and he doesn't match her. So it always looks like they're like their hearts don't beat at the same time. Like they said about chasing her it. just a little bit. No, he's more like he's going at his own pace. And he like yeah, I don't know. Like he didn't catch her on the twist. It looked like I don't know. It and was then he just... tripped on the throat of Axel, honey. <laughs> My favorite was um <laughs> 
we get a text message. You're like, they got a deduction in the short? What did they miss? And I'm like, you're like, oh, they got a time violation. They would. Like, I just... If there's anybody who would, it would, like they, how many times have they done this program? They moved too early, like, of us. Yeah, it's like, honey, just, you gotta stand there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was great. It was, I mean, they... They were good. I mean, they have so many good qualities. I really do like, yeah. there's some dynam, dyn, dynamism? Dynamism? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. About them. Like, they're just, they're dynamic. They're a dynamic team. They bring some yes. passion. You can tell that they really enjoy skating together. I think they can bring fun programs next season, maybe add a few more transitions. Um, it was good. It, I mean, it get was, a second throw. I mean, yeah, you know, this... get another throw. Get those side by side triples down pat because they can do them in isolation and when they're not standing next to each other. So just learn how they have great quality. I wish that we had three teams going to world. I, I want to see them do the journey program again. I know, I know. And in Boston too, maybe they can like send us a video of it. Yeah. But let's talk about dance because this was the first time I would say that Maya and Alex had pressure on them, like to really defend. And they did. They skated a little bit tighter, I thought, than at nationals. I thought they were flat in the free, but yeah. there was also that program is so dependent on a crowd. There was no one in that arena when they were doing that free dance. You know, and that program is like the crowd, you hear it, you build it, you know, you have like a Meredith Grey kind of moment. Like, I don't know, it was just yeah, and they, to me. And they, they lost to both um, Chop Madison and Caitlin. In, in component. That yeah, was really, yeah. we need to talk about okay, the judging. Okay, talk it up because I think we were so, talking about this a lot and I didn't understand. So I know. And like, I wound up deleting the Facebook because I think people were like misinterpreting what I was saying. And like, I'm not hating on the shows. I think they deserve to win. I think that they were great. But why they won didn't really have that much to do with the skating. <laughs> um, and this is, a, this is Ice Dance judging. Is that the caller was Judy. Judy coached them, and she's also like that coach who, um, like, she like, comes in as the judge, like, to really, she's advised them for years. Like, she stayed close with their camp. So, like, and Judy's someone, like, you want her on your good side. Like, she, you, and in Nice Dance, you have to have people working for you. It's right. very political. Um, and David Molina is like a Marie France person. Okay. So, everyone had a vested interest to, like, make sure the Canadians were, like, kept down. And, like, when I saw the protocol, like she just like made like they I don't I think that like Judy did the good work for US. Like it, Weaver and Poge, third, they're not gonna medal at Worlds, Jenny, it's done. Like and this then is the with and then Tessa Church, announcing a comeback. Where was Caitlin? Like, where did she find out officially? Come on. I mean, I'm sure that they knew where it had heard, but yeah, this. But I mean, then when the statement is actually made. Okay. And then everyone is like losing their minds that they're coming. I mean they're going to be silver medalists at Canadians. I mean, unless Tessa Virtue gets the stomach flu. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm excited too. But yeah, so like the judging, I want to know who's going to be on the panel because now Panamarenko, when he's the caller, that's considered to be a good thing for Igor. Okay. So like the ice dance politics, like you, and you have to skate up on your moment. Like you cannot give them a reason. Like, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates were sloppy. And then Caitlin and Andrew, they really needed to nail that free dance. And, and they he gave... messed up the lift. He put his foot down on the lift. Yeah. He... They gave Judy the opportunity to really hammer them. And it's funny is that the judges and components still went with Weaver and Poche, both programs. And like. So it's kind of like giving them false hope in a sense. You know what was weird with the judges and Weaver and Poche? So they had like visible errors. I think there was only one minus one on their sheet in all of their. GOEs overall were positive when they had visible errors That's in. Just, I, yeah, I don't. Do your job, judges. Come on. Don't give Bo Yang Jin a nine for choreography, and you can't give them positive GOEs for all of the things. It was like Judy was working, like they were fighting each other, the panel. Like there was a lot of politics going on with the dance. I think the order wound up being overall correct, yeah. but it was, it was just like how they arrived at it that I thought was like fishy. You know, like it was the judging was correct, but. The order was correct, but the judging to get there was just like... A little just, off. Yeah, a little off. And you know what? The Shibutanis have been screwed over, like, enough times that, like, you know what? Give them a muffin basket. Like, they deserved this. They deserved the and win. And, and this season, we talk about momentum and Gracie perhaps not having that work in her favor at Worlds. It's really, they have been consistent. They have been Satoko Miyahara in the free dance and the short dance. You have I to mean, think, they're going to be at home at Boston Worlds. Mm -hmm. They're close to the French at this point. Like the because they had a one point deduction for an extended lift in the free skate. You have to think. 
how many points do you give for the hometown crowd? Like, what is that worth in components when they lose their minds during your free and that dance? that program, like we were there in nationals, people just love it. So if the French mess up the short dance, or get, if they make any errors, it's done. Should we, should we Tani's going to win the world? They could go from being like the black sheep team to world champion. Well, it this shows you what like a good program can do. A good program and the fact that the judges at nationals had the balls to change the order of the teams. It changed everything okay. this season. And then now they have two wins. So you have to think that they're going to beat Chalk and Bates and Components oh, at yeah. World. Like the judges seem to like be Now unsure. they're like, like okay, like, they have two that. like... Well, and I Because the judges tend to be sheep. They tend to go with what happened before so that they keep their assignments. Well, and one yeah. of the things I noticed when watching Madison and Evan, she never, rarely, I don't want to say like definitive statements, but she really turns her toe out even when she's just pushing. Watch at the beginning of their free dance. She has some long edges. And the toe is always, like these are the little things when Maya and Alex, they're so precise this season. It's just little things like that. I did like Caitlin and Andrews' split lip lift in the free dance it's the best it's the best lift i've ever seen like really really yeah. good he cannot they cannot smile during that last diagonal footwork sequence this is not smiley music because they're so it's this bitter earth yes and they're so good at the it, beginning it grabs you with that choreography i know you're so he happy needs but to you go back smile. looking miserable yeah out there. yeah it's, uh, a smile needs... doesn't work for him in this program and it, it, clearly it didn't. I mean, they had, he made, I don't know what right. he was, yeah. I think he had the stomach flu. He was having whatever Megan was eating. I don't know. Like that was not a good performance, Andrew. And so apparently she talks as much as Jillian and you could kind of hear it in the kiss and cry. They're cut from the same cloth. I imagine there's a lot They're of good friends. Going. They're good friends. Too. I know. What do they think about Tessa coming back? I want to know. I want to know. That's, you know, I mean, come on. Tessa, Virgin and Moy are going to get all of the attention oh, from the Canadian media. Yes, you know what you know? we talk about with my nephew? Like there's a window where we get to like to put him down for nap and if you miss the window there's no turning back i feel like they had their window the last two seasons at worlds and they missed it maybe there's no going back to possibly winning a world title just saying maybe Stop. they missed the window um madison and zach he really loves her or something i don't know he <laughs> they, likes to post I, his about mom how wants them to get back together yeah i, know, yes, wants... I think he may want to, to he's like the he wins the award for the most supportive partner most supportive ex-boyfriend, too. I don't know. Like, I found the How about when she, like, woke up for the short dance and was shirtless? Oh, I was excited for oh. the short dance for once, too. I don't know. I saw that Instagram post, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love well. her they, short dance. Yeah. I don't care as much. The free dance is fine, but I don't think yeah. it's them as, it's not as it's authentic. So her dress is so much better in, in the short. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the weird cut of the skirt. It's, like, so long in the back and so short in the front. Just maybe have it all the same length. They've had some great programs before, and they're a team when they have that great free dance, they get the momentum behind them yeah. like the weather. They have the great short dance this year. Hopefully they can do both next year. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. And Piper and Paul in their MK Dance Blades, uh, they were good here. Yeah, Unfortunately, Judy didn't think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I thought they did well. They skated well in my mind. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm watching sometimes, but... They no, good. I mean, yeah, they yeah they were good. I like I mean I like the costumes now. I, I know it's much better, much better, it's much better. Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was a fan. But so. a couple things because this is kind of a long show before we wrap things up. There was a Russian test skate this week. We saw Yulia Lipnitskaya placing silver. So, or placing second there. So did she need to win? That's yeah, what I want. That's yeah, I Leonova won. So who are, I mean, she did this. Okay, so she had her moment on Instagram this week when she was stretching. Oh, I the loved video. it. The little, like, cat. Yes. Okay, so do we want to see Yulia with all of the Yulianess at Worlds, or do we want to see Pogorelia? <laughs> I'm hoping for. I mean, for oh, selfish reasons. Oh, and did, like, horribly at some competition this week, Aww. by the way. Yeah. yeah. I, I would kind of yeah. like to see Poker Lie just if she fell in person. I would like to witness it just to see what it was like. But I think with Yulia, um, it's skating is better. We didn't see any triple triples here, though. They are adding the arm over the head on two of her jumps. Um, but still, I, even a double axle triple toe, I think she's going to need to show some of those triple triples if she wanted to be named to the team. When do they have? When do we have until... I think this was the test skate that oh. was supposed to determine. So I, I don't, I kind of think she needed to win. I think losing to Leonova too. I mean, come on, you know, yeah, we needed to win here. It was a better effort overall. I think she looks like she'll have a good season next year. But yeah, yeah. maybe this is just a building year. But Davies, what was your hashtag MK moment from Poor Continents? Oh man, there are so many. I mean, Virtue and Moyer's comeback was obviously um, 
That's and real. I think Tessa wears MK dance blades. Just saying. Then there's Patrick Chan's coach. <laughs> but I really have to say, Judy, as like the caller, is so entertaining to me. I, I mean, so if she, at <laughs> my MK moment, if she was a Madonna song, it would be unapologetic. I just I love it. I, I have it. to say, she is my MK moment of the week. I love her. I would be like Meryl Davis and Skate to Shahrazad to get like Judy on my side. Like, uh, yes, I am. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want a level four Vin step. Judy, I love you. How about you, Jenny? What is your hashtag MK moment of the I'm week? I'm going to go with Patrick Channing in that long program because he was so bam. And it was um, unexpected in many ways. It looked like he was a completely different skater in his MK Phantom Blades. But he was... He was I mean, that was a moment to come out and to skate so well. Talk about being unapologetic, those jumps and everything. He finished the program and it looked like he could really go do it again. It did seem very easy. And you have to respect that kind of athleticism and focus that he can do it. Now just put it together with a short program. That's all it's going to take. What were your moments? Leave us a comment below. Yeah, and watch the five and five this week because we're gonna have an important question for you. What did you do when you were 15? We wanna know, did you win the spelling bee? Were you the head of, you know, what did you, eighth in a state algebra competition? Like, what did you do when you were 15? Watch the five and five, you'll get the reference. Hold an edge and look sexy. sexy. Bye, Bye guys. guys.